Hey, it's Chad from Drive Lightning, the positively charged EV channel, and we're going to positively respond to an Aptera comment. Here's what we got. This is at uh, Fairburn69. I love the Aptera and have my deposit down, but people act like they are going to be consistently get 40 miles of solar energy per day. The 40 miles of energy is in a sunny climate in the summertime. So June in Nevada, a sunny day for sure, but December in Seattle, not a chance. And I went on to say that there may be backlash. Like when people finally get to see the Aptera in person, they don't get that. And they're like, well, that's not what I signed up for. So I thought it was a fair question. And I don't have a uh, response like that's right or wrong, but I want to put the question to you. But here's where I think it comes from and why I think it's a valid point. So here's basically what the Aptera pitch sounds like. And we're expecting a car that will get up to 40 miles a day just from the sun. And with a 1,000 miles when fully charged. Also, all-wheel drive and starts at just 25,000. So all those characteristics don't go together. So we're selling people on the very top, what we think is the top possibility of the Aptera three-wheel version at this time. And that's not what's coming, not for a long time. So might it be better? And I'd like to know your opinion. I, I'm not in marketing. I'm a salesman, but not of cars. So in, in the comments, let uh, Sarah and I know what you think. Would it be better to talk about the base model? Talk about an EV that gets 250 miles of range, can charge itself by the sun, some, depending on the climate of where you live, and is all around awesome. I think that's a car I would buy. Uh, or maybe this is a smart play. Let's just talk about the launch edition. This is the first step tier people are going to see on the road, have the opportunity to buy, drive, and maybe buy used in a couple of years, the launch edition. 400 mile range EV with a full solar package, which will allow up to, in great climates, 40 miles a day, maybe as little as 10 or 12 miles a day, depending on where you live and the weather condition. Just say that. Uh, zero to 60 in like four seconds, something like that. That is a car that anybody should be excited about. So I don't know, do we need to be selling the best possibilities of Aptera, or should we be trying to talk about what we expect to actually see, and that's the launch edition Aptera. What do you think? Let us know in the comments. Thank you for the comment, by the way, that spread this conversation. Many times that's what your comments do, and we appreciate you. Bob Newchow, thank you for the coffee, my friend. We really appreciate it. I don't drink coffee. Sarah drinks plenty of coffee. Thank you. Yep. And now uh, all the members of the channel that keep the wheels churning on the Positively Charged EV channel, thank you. And the Mug Club members, now defunct, although we do still have merch available at drivenbysolar.com. The Mug Club members aren't defunct. The members aren't defunct. <laughs> we can no longer sell. We're not we're no longer choosing to sell the mugs that say Driven by the Sun because of copyright infringement. Have a great day, everybody. Do something good.